here is another skin tumor. You could see it. It's all this blue stuff. You could see it fairly well delineated from the underlying fat or the subcutaneous fat of the skin. Although, I will caution you that it looks like some of this material might even be starting to infiltrate the fat. So if that was the only thing alone that you saw, you know this is probably a malignancy. However, there are several other things that will convince you it's a malignancy as well. The first is that uh, from a cytologic point of view, if you look at some of these cells, they are very nasty, like there. They're big, dark, lumpy. You could instantly appreciate them as squamous cells. You could see that uh, it looks as though there's a significant amount of inflammation surrounding this tumor, but that in itself doesn't make it malignant, doesn't it? Another thing that you might notice pretty quickly is that the uh, tumor causes a significant ulceration of the skin. And whereas when you look at this area out here, you may see normal skin, some sebaceous glands, some inflammatory cells, perhaps everything uh, east of the Mississippi River here is tumor, and most of the stuff west is normal skin. Let's take a look at some of the margins of these squamous nests, and you can see that they are truly not only atypical in terms of how their nuclei look, but they have little infiltrating uh, margins as well. I'm sorry we can't go any deeper than that. I could probably find you a couple of other really nasty cells. I think you could see that this tumor is making an abundant amount of keratin. And once again, we saw that the tumor was very, very thick as well. And for that reason, I believe that this tumor probably represents this particular uh, picture of a squamous cell carcinoma of the skin on a patient rather than this one, which doesn't, uh, which appears fairly flat and ulcerated. But these are both squamous cells. Thank you very much.